What's up everyone? This is Gail Dudley with your news in motion. Today is Monday, October the 26th, 2020. How's everyone doing? How are you doing? Good morning. Yep, yeah, I had to turn that on. Good morning, Pastor Alex. Good morning, Kim Kills. Good morning, Brenda Randall. And good morning, Gwendolyn Wright. Good morning, Victoria Murray. Murray. Good morning, people. Good morning. Yep, I had to turn that light on. I totally forgot about it. Good morning, Adrian. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Jeffrey. What's up, people? What's up? Today is Monday. Good morning. Uh, we have, um, we are eight days away, y'all. Eight days away. Can you believe it? We are eight days away. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning to all of you. Good morning, Jacqueline. Y'all are up on a Monday morning. Okay. I'm glad to know I'm not alone. We are, this is, t this is team news. Let's get moving. We got eight days to go. Good morning. Good morning, Pamela Lewis. What's up? Good morning, Oscar. Good morning to all of you. Good morning, Marion. Man, y'all up on a Monday morning. I'm loving it. I am loving it. All right, y'all, we have eight days to go. We have eight days to go, to go in the um, AP, which is the Associated Press. We are re They are reporting that there have been, y'all ready for this number? 58.6, 58.6 million ballots cast. I saw that, Kim. You said, yeah, but I'm up in dress. Hey, you want me to come dress, don't you? Um, I saw you, Latrice Jones. What's up? Y'all, 58.6 million ballots have been cast. Um, y'all, with eight days before the election day, more people have already cast their ballots in this year's presidential election. Good morning, Antoinette. Then voted earlier absentee in the 2016 race as the start of in-person early voting in big states lead to surge in turnout in recent days. So that's what's happening. That's what's happening. Y'all, we cannot get relaxed yet. People, if you know people and they're saying, but look at the numbers, you encourage them otherwise, which I'll talk about um, in a little bit later after I get through the rest of the headlines. Um, AP also goes on to, to express that the opening of early voting locations in Florida, Texas, and elsewhere has piled millions of new votes, new votes on top of the mail-in ballots arriving at elected election offices. Um, so that's, so yeah, we even have new votes, new voters, new votes. Um, the result is a total of 58.6 million ballots cast so far, more than 58 million that the Associated uh, Press logged as being cast uh, through the mail or at in-person early voting. So what they're saying here is this, you know, some states have not started counting the mail-in ballots. They're not counting those until November the 3rd. So there's more than 50, 58.6 million. So we should be so, so, so excited about that. All right, y'all, the Supreme Court yesterday, the Senate voted to limit. They don't wanna hear any conversation. So Mitch McConnell and his people, they limit the debate on Amy Coney Barrett's nomination and is expected to confirm her um, to the Supreme Court tonight. Um, every Democratic every, every Democratic sen senator is set to vote against, as is Susan Collins of Maine. Susan Collins is doing everything she can. She is very behind in the polls in her Senate race in Maine. So she is um, expected to vote um, against. And what's interesting, yes, you're right, Antoinette, we need a landslide. Good morning, Stephanie. Um, what's interesting is that they are limiting these conversations. Um, and Susan, Susan Collins is down in her Senate race. All right, y'all, uh, CBS News is reporting. And y'all need to just share this. We talked about this a little bit last week. Please, everybody, read the directions if you're doing mail-in ballots. Read the directions. If there's an envelope inside of an envelope, please, you have to follow everything they're telling you to do. Follow everything. Use a blue or black pen, y'all. Follow everything. If you know someone who needs help, help them out with reading it. Um, top election officials in Philadelphia on last week warned that the state Supreme Court decision to reject ballots missing their privacy envelopes 
they're talking over maybe 100,000 ballots that will be invalid. 100,000 ballots. We have no space for air, people. We have no space for air in voting. We don't. So if you know anybody who's doing that, make sure they're reading their ballot. Read before you start writing. Read before you start filling it out. Please read it. Please follow the directions from beginning to end. So if you have to do a one-on-one -on -one class with people, if you have to do some Zoom meetings, do whatever you need to do to make sure that people are completing their, their mail-in ballot correctly and make sure they're putting them in the right um, ballot drop box and make sure if they actually mail them through the U.S. mail that they put the enough postage stamps on them. We have to do that, y'all. All right. Um, yeah, I want to say something else about that before I go on. This is... No, this is October the 26th. The election is November the 3rd. Anyone who's still holding on to your mail-in ballot, mail it or drop it off today. Let's not wait, y'all. Let's not wait. Do it today. Please, if you're still holding on to that, do it today. If you know anybody that's still holding on to their mail-in ballot, encourage them to do it today. Even if you have to go pick them up and take them. Remember the 94-year-old woman I shared last week, y'all? They went from Zion, Illinois to Detroit, Michigan. They drove each way over 330 miles to make sure this 94-year-old woman vote because she said, mm -mm, I haven't received my ballot. She asked her son to take her. Her son took her. So if she could do it at 94, got in a car and they drove to Detroit, we can do it with the mail-in ballot. Don't delay with that, y'all. Don't delay. All right, y'all. Elevate it, y'all. Pope Francis. What y'all think about the Pope? Well, Sunday he named Wilton Gregory, the Archbishop of Washington, a cardinal, uh, elevating the first African-American to the Catholic Church highest governing body. It goes on to say a groundbreaking act in a year that demands for racial justice have consumed the country. Wilton Gregory, the Archbishop Bishop of Washington, now a cardinal, was among 13 new cardinals named on Sunday. The Pope ain't playing, y'all. All right, y'all. Uh, Global Citizen is reporting, will they, won't they? Uh, Iran, Iran allows women to run for president in 2021 after 40-year policy reversal. Go Iran. But now y'all know there's always going to be some something that's thrown in there. Uh, women have been prevented from running for president in Iran for more than 40 years, but all that might change soon. No law previously banned women from running for president outright, but the literal interpretation of the, Republic, of, of the Islamic Republic Constitution since 1979 has kept them from running successful campaigns. So you know there's going to be some funny stuff. What about the polls on the day of? I'll get there in one second. Thank you, Pamela Lewis. Hold on. I'm going to get there in a second. Um, so y'all, so we need to be excited, but we also, y'all need to start praying for the women who are going to run a campaign in Iran so they can run for president in 2021. We need to still uh, pray for them, make sure they follow all the rules, pray that people won't try to change the rules. You know, people can say they're going to do something, but y'all know how that works. All right, y'all, our coronavirus numbers in the U.S. Remember, I go to the World Health Organization to get the numbers. I bypass the CDC. There are 8,889,179 confirmed cases. That's a lot. That's a lot. U.S. reports more than 83,000 COVID-19 cases two days in a row. So confirmed cases, y'all. There are 230,510 deaths, and there are 5,772,498 that have recovered. So let's celebrate that recovery. Y'all, at least the top three A's to Vice President Mike Pence have tested positive, including his chief of staff. So there's still a question about what's happening in the White House and in the administration and why they do not wear masks, why they do not practice social distancing. And it's almost as if it's now just fl flying throughout the White House administration. All right, so y'all, I wanna talk, those are the headlines. Those are, those are the headlines. So I wanna talk about what I call vote tripling. Each day I'm going to take a piece as we're leading into that eight days. So I'm gonna go back to Pam Carr's, Pamela uh, Carr-Lewis um, question. What about... Um, day of voting. 
Listen, day of voting is November 3rd. Know your polling location. You can find that location by going to ballotpedia.org. You can go to iwillvote.com. So ballotpedia.org and or iwillvote.com. Find out if your polling place has changed. What we're seeing with poll workers, they're seeing that they have the majority that um, that are stacked for, for the workers, but they're still some need in Nebraska and in Wisconsin. So if you know anybody in Nebraska or anybody in Wisconsin and they have a day to give to their civic duty, encourage them to go to EAC.gov. Again, that's EAC.gov. That stands for the Election Assistance Commission.gov. They can register to be a poll worker. It's not too late, but they probably have to do it no later than tomorrow. No later than tomorrow to do that. And thanks for posting those in the thread. So Ballotpedia dot org or i will vote dot com to find your polling location the other thing get there early the lines are planning to be long what they are finding is that out of the 58.6 million that have already voted they're saying the majority of those are democrats which means the republicans the gop party will be voting more than likely on the day of be sure to go in line to to go early be sure to to plan your vote meaning you're going to be there a while you're going to be there a while so i've given the list last week i'll give it here one more time today at least i think it's going to be the last time but if you have any medication have it with you inhaler have it uh insulin have it have snacks have protein bars have bottled water have fruit um you might be there longer, so have a sandwich. Y'all know my rules. Some Wonder Bread, some mustard, a piece of bologna, call it a day, no mayo, it may mess you up. Wear comfortable clothing, have a seat, have an umbrella, have glasses, uh, some, have something to read, have your, your phone charged at 100%, have portable batteries, make sure they're charged at 100% too. That's right, Antoinette, no tuna and no, um, no deviled eggs. That stuff don't sit well. Now, depending upon where you are, you know, if you're in a, you're, if you're in a cold place like I am right now, you might be okay, but let's just not even test it that day. Let's not even do that that day. Have some candy, have something. You're going to be there a while. And even if you get there and you walk right in and walk out, you need to just celebrate that you were able to do that. That's right, Marion. No mayo, no tights. Women, 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 women. Know the difference between tights and leggings. If we can see purple, pink, fuchsia, orange, royal blue, white, tan, whatever color you have on tights, we need you to put on some leggings. There's a difference. There's a difference. This is not the pickup joint. You're, that's not what you're there for. You're there to vote. You are there to vote. I'm like camping out for Prince, for Prince tickets, like back in the day. If you have to camp out, camp out. Be prepared. Be prepared, y'all, for a long time on that day. Be prepared. The other thing I'm going to stress, don't go alone. Don't go alone. All the different news releases we are receiving saying that there could be there could be some trouble. That's not to intimidate you. That's not to scare you. I just want you to know, do not go alone. Do not go alone, people. Do not go, especially women. I'm not trying to be sexist or funny about it. Don't go alone. Just don't do that. The other thing I want to focus on today is vote tripling. Y'all heard me talk about it briefly last week. Even if you have already voted, I'm going to use the Mia Candice words, close your voting ring. Like, for example, this household, the voting ring is closed. I went to my next, my next sibling, their voting ring is closed. I went to my parents, their voting ring is closed. I went to all of my siblings, their voting rings have closed. I started going through my friends list. I'm seeing that their voting rings are closed, which means everyone in that household has voted. So I started going to then looking at my nieces, my nephews, my cousins, so forth and so on. Again, y'all, and I think Demia needs to coin this term, the close the vote ring. So vote tripling is saying, okay, I'm gonna look at the next three people that have not voted and I'm going to do whatever I can to make sure they vote. Whatever that looks like, make sure they're vote. So I, I 
I'm going to use my nephew. My nephew gave me permission to do it. I have a, a nephew, older, older um, nephew, and found out in that household, he had not voted. He said, y'all got this. Y'all got this. There's like, at that point, it was like over 47 million. Y'all got this. I said, no. And so I had to pause and think about his character, think about who he is. And I said, okay, look, I'm a, I said, let's, let's just have a conversation. Other people in the family were arguing with him. Like, what do you mean you have, I said, mm -mm, that ain't the way to do it. So I just sat next to him. I said, okay, we got, I said, show me why you haven't voted. And he says, well, because y'all got this, this is looking good. This is a landslide. I said, so I had to change my conversation with him. I said, but wouldn't it be great to be a part of that history that you voted as well? And he paused. He said, oh, I don't need to do that, Aunt Gail. I don't need to do that. And I said, well, I think you should. I think we should do this together. So we just started having the conversation. So I started giving him numbers. I said, do you realize what happened in 2016? He said, yeah, but that was interference. So know what it is that you're talking about. So I came back at him and said, yeah, there was some election interference, but imagine if it was a landslide. It would have been impossible to be that kind of inter interference. So we just had our conversation. We had our conversation. I left him alone. Everybody else was still harping on him. I left him alone. So I text him this morning. I said, hey, if you want to get in line, I'll get in line with you. Just let me know what time you're going. Just tell me what you're doing. He said, already up, already in line, got two of my buddies with me. It's the way you have the conversation with them. So I'm excited about that. He even took a picture, sent it to me, let me know that he really was in line. So I'm just really excited about that. So that's how we have to have that conversation. So so vote tripling. It is you if you go and you have your your vote on and you have your sticker or something they're doing some um um like red carpet backdrops or whatever, take a selfie, take a picture, then send that out. Now, for those of you who are new here, go ahead and download what you call the outvote. Download what you call the outvote. Once you download that to iOS or to Android, then you upload all of your contacts. You will be able to see every contact if they are a registered voter or not. At this point, if they're not registered, we gotta deal with them after the election and get them registered for the next election. So don't worry about them. But everybody who is registered, who has not already voted, because OutVote will let you know if they voted or not, if they've already been counted. Now, if they went to vote Saturday or Sunday, they may not be in the system yet on the OutVote. But anybody that's voted beforehand, they, they will be marked. If you go through your contact and see that somebody has not voted, um, Michael is called um, OutVote. The app is called OutVote. Out, O-U-T, vote. That's the app. Um, you upload all of your contacts and anyone that's registered, um, that's not registered, that's over a certain age. It's amazing what they can do now with, with apps and with smartphones. Uh, it'll let you know if they're registered. It will also, yes, that's it. Out vote, but it's two words out, then vote out and vote. Um, what I can also do is do an image that I will post in the thread so that you know, you're grabbing the right, um, App. And if anybody already has it and want to put the picture up there, please put the picture up there. Thank you, Michael Priestley. Put, please put the picture up there. But it will tell you if somebody has not voted already. You can send them text message and say, hey, just want to remind you we got eight days to go. You just want to softly tell them, hey, and check with your friends. Now, again, you can look at them sideways. They go, yeah, I voted. And you're like, when did you vote? And they said two weeks ago. And you can look at them like, no, you didn't because outvote shows me that you haven't voted. Just saying, see, that's what, that's the tools we have today. So use that. So today I just really want to focus on vote tripling. Our goal today is to reach out to people and uh, yes, I'll, I'll post it, Pam, reach out to people and say, Hey, have you voted? Y'all that's our, that's our job today. This is our civic duty today. I'm giving you one, one tool each day this week. Today is to follow up on people. Have you voted? And then have the right conversation, um, have the have the right tone of the conversation. Don't berate them. Don't don't get in a yelling match with them. Let them know what's important. Go with the issues: healthcare, uh, 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 economy, um, um, education, foreign policy, Supreme Court. All of that. That's what we do. That's what we do. All right. So y'all have that. All right, y'all, for the win, for the win, we got to just go ahead and give it up for the scientists. 
and I'm going to just call his name Dr. Fauci for the win. He's been telling us he's been on point. He's been telling us, he's like, we're going to go into another wave. What I'm afraid of is that we have not already tackled what we needed to tackle. So I'm giving the win to Dr. Fauci, Dr. Anthony Fauci. He gets the win. He gets the win. Even the way he's handling himself with the occupant, he gets the win. He gets the win. When I say the occupant, for those who are new here, it's the occupant of the Oval. I just don't say his name often. He gets the win. He gets the win. All right, y'all. So the inspirational message today, the inspirational message today is to, to take care of yourself. Y'all, there's, there's anxiety that's growing. I've read so many different articles um, about people who are going into a place of anxiety going into this election. We're eight days away. They're saying anxiety is going up. And guess what else has increased? And I want to read this to you. Uh, this is wine awesomeness. Now get this. Wine awesomeness. Why awesome? He was great in 60 minutes. Who was great in 60 minutes? Because I didn't watch it because I knew the occupant was on. Um, um, why awesome? Awesomeness said that um, that wine and champagne has increased purchase in the last 31 days. Y'all gonna like this number is crazy. 69%. 69%. And they believe that it is due to people in this election. People in this election, people, you know, I do not turn to alcoholic beverages. Do not turn to alcoholic beverages. But people, they're saying anxiety is, is through the roof with people. So if you are a counselor, if you are a certified counselor, if you are a pastor, if you are a, a, a um, psychologist or a psychiatrist or whomever, um, make sure that you are, are checking on your people that's near you. And hopefully, um, we're going to pray for you as well, that if your calendar begins to fill up, that you will practice self-care as well. Y'all, they're saying people are becoming very anxious and very nervous the closer we're getting to November the 3rd. So self-care, self-care, protect your space, protect who you are, self-cares, protect your mind. Turn off the news if you can't watch it. Turn it off. I'm saying that and I'm giving it. But turn off the news if you can't watch it. Watch what you read. Watch the conversations you are a part of. Y'all, we have to be strong if we're going to be that community. We have to be strong to be able to minister and to connect with other people. We're going to have to be. So what I've been saying for the past few weeks, we all need to begin praying for each other. Go through this thread. Click on the people who were on here who made comments. Go through the thread and just start praying for each person by name. You don't have to know them. Just pray for them by name. That's something else we can do. All right, y'all. I need to go to IG. I am Gail Dudley with your news in motion. Um, I think I answered all the questions that I was able to see. I will put the out vote um, uh, icon on the thread and I won't do it until after I come back from IG. I will put that on there. I think everything else is there. I do believe. All right, y'all. If y'all have questions for me that you want me to address tomorrow, just inbox me or text me or email me. Have a great day. I am Gail Dudley with your news in motion. Peace out.